Customs Enforcement Units have carried out hundreds of deportation operations across the country. Authorities will now be able to expedite deportation of any undocumented immigrant to the country for less than two years, immediately return many immigrants captured at the Mexican border, and hire 15,000 new Border Patrol and immigration officers. The guidelines do leave in place an Obama-era program that granted work permits to those brought to the country illegally as children. The Department of Homeland Security is also tasked with building President Trump's southern border wall, estimated to cost $21 billion. But a report by DHS's internal watchdog questions whether the department is up to the task. Homeland Security has made progress in the last three years, yet faces longstanding persistent challenges. Testifying before Congress, Inspector General John Roth said his review found a 2011 project to strengthen 53 miles of the Arizona border was canceled, but not before DHS spent about $1 billion. There were also numerous bottlenecks in the hiring process, taking over nine months to hire just one Border Patrol agent. Tom Schatz is president of Citizens Against Government Waste. DHS was put together after 9-11 with good intentions, but it brought together a lot of disparate agencies that had never worked together. DHS officials acknowledge that there is anxiety across the country about these new guidelines. Anthony seeking to allay some concerns, officials insisted today that the new guidelines do not include mass deportations. Jeff Begay, thanks, Jeff. The president is working on a rewrite of the travel ban courts put on hold. It would